Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipsomstudios.co.uk and in today's video we are going to look at sample mapping in Studio One version 4 uh, using the fantastic Sample One XT. You can change the color of the GUI in Sample One. I've got it in this kind of uh, phlegm green color, I like to call it. It's <laughs> an amusing color to me, but you can have it blue, red, um, purple, I think that is. I don't know, I'm colorblind. Deep red or black and white, whatever you want. Um, or just white like this, that's quite that's quite cool as well. Um, but I'm gonna go for this color. This'll do me. Anyway, sample mapping. So I have a sample which I have literally just recorded and the way you do that is you go to this button here that says record and you hit the record button and as you can see I have input going from input left of the front of my interface and you can see this is me talking here and as soon as I hit this record button it creates a sample here and then you can go into the wave here and as you can see you can manipulate the length of it by grabbing the ends and dragging it in so you've got uh, a nice and neat tidy sample and then once you've got that you can go to the mapping button here and at the moment it's just mapped to one key ba 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 so there you go, that's me just going ba like a sheep, ba, a vaguely musical sheep. Um, and so, as you can see, it, it, there are different arrow tool functions that happen here. When I hover over the, uh, the little uh, node here, um, and I try and drag it about, all it does is just move, move it about, move this, the, uh, the mapped note for that sample around. But what if I want this to be um, spread out across the whole range of the keyboard? Well, if I move slightly to the left of it, as you can see, the arrowhead changes. And I can click and I can now drag this down a couple of octaves. And I can also go to the other side and do the same there. So I can move that all the way up to, let's say, C7. So now that I've done that, the result is this. And it would keep going, but I've run out of keys on my keyboard. So, <laughs> so there you go. So that's kind of the result. So one of the cool things about that is that you can now kind of, you could play chords and things. if I really, really, really wanted to. <laughs> Which I don't think I would ever particularly want a, cor uh, a chorus of me uh, buying like a sheep in four or five part harmony. Don't think that would be particularly attractive to anybody to listen to. So I apologize for putting you through that. But there you go, that is how you map across uh, the keyboard, however big or small your keyboard might be. You just need to set it appropriately for the size of your keyboard. And um, that's how you do it and it maps right across the keyboard so you can play from bat squeak to you know earth shaking or that kind of sounds like a lion doesn't it a purring lion sort of I guess uh, so there there you go I've just turned my sheep into a purring lion marvelous okay well I hope that that was helpful for you and I will see you on the next video bye for now